Chris Jones after him. Chris Jones got him. Welcome back to our Kansas City Chiefs show, Arrowhead to Arizona. We've taken a look at the Kelsey brothers, mm -hmm. what the Chiefs have done to get here, and now I think it's time we take a look at their opponent, the Philadelphia Eagles. So let's go a little into depth into the Eagles. So Philly this year is first in pressure rate and sack rate in the NFL. They have 80 sacks, including playoffs and regular season. 52 of those are on a four or fewer pass rush. So let's take a look. This play in the NFC Championship game, a simple four-man rush on a play-action pass. The 49ers line acts like it's to run left, but that leaves the Eagles' fourth man, Reddick, on a wide receiver to beat, and he does that continuously time and time again. So let's go a couple weeks back to week 17, a simple four-man front, and this time it's Fletcher Cox. Eagles have quite a few players that can wreak havoc on the defensive line. Fletcher Cox, one of them, he's been doing that his whole career. So the Eagles are very good with a four-man front, but the Chiefs are the third least sack team in the league. So let's look at KC against a four-man rush. Let's go to the AFC Championship game. Bengals send four rushers. Mahomes gets a snap, and he has plenty of times. They minimize Trey Hendrickson. He almost had four seconds to find his back. And then week 17 against Denver, four rushers again, and the offensive line for the Chiefs giving Mahomes time once again, nearly four seconds before Mahomes gets rid of it. And essentially, he had zero pressure in that play. And the Chiefs are pretty good against the four-man rush, which is simply why Patrick Mahomes is unsacked. Chris, this will be a good matchup. What, what are your thoughts on kind of that, that part? So I think the biggest thing, and people brought this up too, the last time the Chiefs were in the Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes was running for his life yes. against the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers defense bringing pressure. That offensive line for the Chiefs back then two years ago, injury riddled. Nothing really looks the same on that offensive line now. Orlando yeah. Brown Jr., Joe Tooney, Creed Humphrey, Trey Smith, those four of the five guys, they – can block for Mahomes and they know how to protect him and again this year we, we've talked about it before Mahomes isn't hanging on to the football very long either yeah there's not there's not that deep threat with Tyree Kill where you have to wait for Hill to get down there not that it takes that long but Mahomes a lot more short routes intermediate yep. routes Travis Kelsey if he can sit down somewhere that's makes it very difficult for teams to react that quickly you get something quickly to Kadarius Tony if he ends up playing he's been practicing all week trying to get healthy McCole Harmon won't play this week so it's gonna be interesting to see what the Chiefs do because Juju Smith-Schuster he should play Marquez Valdez Scantling too so it's interesting to see how the Chiefs will counteract what the Eagles defense can do as well yeah and just watching those plays it seemed like the Eagles a lot of those sacks were against a quarterback who held onto mm -hmm. the ball quite a bit they've sent five rushers but Mahomes he doesn't get blitzed. Right. He rarely ever gets blitzed because he can do so much against blitz because that leaves one less defender in the pass. So it'll be interesting. Eagles good forefront that pass pass rushes. Chiefs get rid of the ball very quickly. So yep. to me, that's going to be very interesting to see. And still ahead, we have plenty more to get to. We come back here on Arrowhead to Arizona. We'll look at the Chiefs rookie class and what Brett Veach found in this year's NFL draft. Comes Chris Jones after him. Chris Jones got him. 